to this short update video after the recent fitment of a alloy aftermarket radiator to the BMW E39 M5. A few people on the forums which I frequent were a bit sceptical saying that it would split in half, melt my conifers, dissolve my block paving and various other bits and bats all because I decided to fit an alloy radiator. After doing just under 400 miles over the last few days um, to the coast and various parts of the UK, absolutely zero issues. The coolant has stayed settled on the cold level mark when the engine's cooled down. Zero leaks zero issues from the alloy radiator coolant temperatures have stayed heavy driving up to about 88 degrees celsius and when cruising on the motorway between 82 and 84 i have absolutely zero issues with the alloy radiator and i'm very glad i fitted it I would suggest it is a worthwhile investment, especially if your original radiator is the original one that came with a car, like mine was. And it's always worth doing a spot of preventative maintenance as well. So if you want to do it, crack on. It's not going to split in half, melt your conifers, dissolve your driveway, start World War 4 with nuclear consequences with North Korea, or anything stupid like that. If you don't want to fit an alloy radiator, your prerogative. But this is an update for those who are interested. I've got zero issues with mine and I'm very happy I fitted it. Whilst we're on the subject of little updates, folk also wanted to know about the LED main beams. Now if you watch the video of that, it should be playing around about now you'll see that we're driving along at night time and as we flick from the dipped beam which is xenon on my car and as you can see it's got a really nice spread of light on the road for the xenons over to the main beam on a completely unlit road we have a fantastic spread of super crystal white light and visibility is improved road signs in the distance the reflection off them pointing out any hazards that are upcoming on roads that are unlit and I've got no problems with recommending LEDs for your main beams on your headlights as well a little side note for you anybody who does track days who wants to fit a GoPro to their vehicle you can do, so do this using the standard towing eye screws in Use a flat mount and then underneath, use an Allen screw, M6, straight into the flat mount. Secures the GoPro body nicely to it. And in the event that your vehicle does become incapacitated on the track, then it's easily removed in a couple of seconds so that your vehicle can be safely towed away. The cost for doing that, pennies as opposed to using something which is likely to fall off for a lot more money. So thanks for watching and hope this quick update video is informative and helps you make any decisions with regards to purchasing items which you might want to upgrade yours in the future.